Um, no, it's, uh, you know, uh, in business, you need uh, charisma and animal energy. Hmm. It's way more important than intellectual savvy and great memory. Hmm. Um, you know, we see a few people, I mean, you know, you see kind of, a, a, well, we're blessed around here. The uh, people in business here are, are rocket scientists. You know, I go to Amazon board meeting, it's the only retailer in the history probably of this earth and others where there are rocket scientists actually making decisions. Mm -hmm. and, uh, um, what is animal energy? What, what do you, wouldn't you say that? What do you mean by that? It's usually the ability to, you know, they, you know the David Geller guy who can uh, bend a fork uh, from a distance through psi energy? Animal energy is the ability to bend the will of other people while, while standing up. I think Steve Ballmer's got it. And, uh, hmm. you know, the, it, a lot of leadership is, uh, uh, it's kind of like a tuning fork, getting everybody on the same wavelength. And, uh, and then the other thing is, um, after you've been doing business for 40 or 50 years, I see some um, age-oriented peers and uh, the ability to uh, take meetings at 10 at night or 6 in the morning um, after you're 35 years old is useful. You know, the ability when you're 35, if you've got kids, uh, to be able to put the, put the kids to bed and then go out and do sports <laughs> or get up at 5.30 in the morning and work out turns out to be a real advantage in business. It might not be as much an advantage as a university professor. Um, so the, the, having energy reserves hmm. is a great life. Goal. Literally, having physical energy reserves. Physical energy reserves. It's hmm. interesting. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not just the, the psycho 20-somethings who have to go around the clock. It's just... Um, I mean, working smart only gets you so far. I had a friend who was, uh, I talk a lot to people who are starting their careers. Um, I had a friend who talked about starting his career as a movie producer, and he said he only has one piece of advice, and that's work as hard as you can, and then work harder. Mm -hmm. so there's just no substitute for the ability to uh, work hard and be in a, uh, uh, be in a good mood. So when I feel, when I see somebody in a workplace who can't help but smile and compliment people, I just tell them don't ever lose that. Um, startups and the creative process is so hard. You know you don't want nervous Nellies or kind of snarky Sams. So somebody who is that that uplifting, um, you know that's worth 20 IQ points. What, uh, and if you if you got the twenty IQ points, you, you owe it to yourself to be really happy because then you get you know twenty more. It's an interesting thought as we were walking in. Jim Franklin from uh, the CEO of Sengrids here. I'm going to call you out, Jim, but he was telling me about you know Jim's a marathon runner and he's or an Ironman. You know, and, you know he does. Well, he, Ironman's all. Do you know? He's Jim? got energy, but he sounds like an addict too. Well, well, <laughs> but he was telling me his schedule. He said, "Well, I'm I'm flying to India next week. I'm doing this and that." And I just said, "How do you do it?" And you know. The, he clearly has it. He has animal energy. Yeah. He's, he's in shape. He's taking care of himself, and he's up in the morning and done at night. So, Yeah, it's... Um, who, who do you see that has that? I mean, who, who today... I mean, Balmer, but who, who, who else do you well, see? Well, I work with John Doerr. I work with Ted Schlein, who kind of runs all... He ran up and down the um, uh, Grand Canyon. Hmm. Sounds kind of crazy. Um, the... Um, oh, yeah, I work with... Uh, Mark Pincus, who surfs every weekend. Um, I think most most people that I uh, that that I work with around here who are leaders um, have extraordinary energy. You just uh, you know, growing up um, where I grew up, my father was the only person in our neighborhood who didn't work in the car business, and the uh, the U.S. automobile uh, automobile business. I would not typify their executives at at having this uh, high-powered physical energy. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's just uh, valuable, so if you have it, cherish it. One of the things I've discovered about people as they get uh, more experienced in life, they're unashamedly willing to talk about themselves as assets. And, um, you know, kind of, treat, if you're a number one draft choice or a thoroughbred, you know, you gotta, 
uh, have, have good oats and get run. And, um, and, you know, you do yourself a disservice if you don't, um, you know, treat yourself as an asset kind of better than you treat your car. Yeah. 